Now look, it's the time of year when many of us want to get healthy. On Tuesday, we launched our Lose the Booze campaign and revealed the three famous faces, our Kate Garraway, Sherry Houston and Amber Davis, who'll be giving up alcohol with us this January. Since then, so many of you have got involved. You've hit our pledge button on the website and uh, I'm going to join you as well. And Dr Hilary is here too. Um, okay. I just think it's a, it's a good time. It's, it's a great opportunity yeah. to, to actually learn a bit about what alcohol does to you, how it makes you feel. Yeah. Um, so three million people did this last year and, and many of them said they lost weight, many of them said they, they had real benefits, sure. more energy, better concentration. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Mm. But there's a big medical headline today. Did there you see indeed. it? Yes, I did. I did. It, it's, it suggested that the reason we now know that 12,000 alcohol-related cancer uh, cases occur every year in Britain is because DNA is damaged. This by was the booze. By the booze. Right, so there is, we didn't know why can, certain cancers were related to alcohol. Bowel cancer, breast cancer, uh, liver cancer, throat, mouth, larynx, all related to, to alcohol. We didn't know why before, but Cambridge University have done this fantastic bit of science and mm. research, and they've shown that the DNA is actually damaged. We've looked at stem cells in the blood, which can become either red cells, which carry oxygen or white cells which fight infection. Right. The DNA is damaged sometimes permanently, That's which really can lead scary. on to cancer. That's so really, really scary. Are we talking mm. though, so people that have a tipple, or do you have to be really battering it no, in order it, to it change your DNA? No, it could be people who just drink moderately, really? constantly, wow. and it, it, and it's about just being aware of that and saying, well, am I drinking too much? And, sure. and maybe another reason to cut down. Right. Yeah, okay, especially if there's a genetic susceptibility of any of those cancers. Too right. Mm. I just thought it would be quite a good thing to do. It's, I've got a bit fed up with it over Christmas and New Year. There's I know a, that sounds... Yeah. There's a lot of it about. And I've <laughs> almost got fed up with chocolate. Oh, really? Nearly. Gosh. Nearly, not quite. But it's just too much, you yeah. know, and it's actually quite nice. And you just feel as if you're doing something that's going to make you feel better. Well, 70% of people um, drink at home most of the time and 50% and drink with their partners. Yeah. But then... In December, there's all those parties, all those Christmas parties, and lo lots of social cues to drink. You know, have which a is lovely. Yeah, but it's too much. It, it's too much. It's too much. We put it all into that absolutely. little. Because then, One time. if you add up the number of units you're drinking in those weeks, it can be far above yeah. what the recommended limits are. And look, I, I'm a doctor. Doctors drink too much. The definition of an alcoholic, they say, is someone who drinks more than their doctor, right? Right. Joking. Yes, um, of but, but doctors do drink a lot. Mm. It's a profession that's renowned for it. So mm. who are we to say? But we do know that the damage that, the damage that alcohol does. So drinking in moderation is good. And, and dry January, some people criticise and say, well, that means that people go wild the rest of the 11th. Months. But no, no, it's about learning. It's, not that. Yeah. it's about encouraging people to to be aware of alcohol and what it does to you. So mm. by going dry for a month, it's a really good opportunity after the excesses of, of December yeah. to say, actually, what do I feel like after a month? And you're doing it because you're fed up with it, the effect just, yeah, of it. Yeah, and, and also that, that horrible that horrible blah feeling after you've had far too much. Absolutely. And you said, as you said, we, we tend to drink at home a yep. lot more now than mm -hmm. go to the pub. Um, which is a shame in many ways, but the thing about staying at home is we pour ourselves giant portions yeah. in giant glasses. It, it, we do glasses so have then, got bigger. and then you think, oh, this is only a unit. Uh, no, it isn't. Absolutely. You well, know, glasses have got, got bigger and wine's got stronger. It used yeah. to be 11%, now it could be 14%. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So it's it's really important. So I'm glad you're doing this, and we've got those celebrities doing it as yeah, well. Yeah, no, we've got our And you will feel the benefits. I'm sure I will. Really I'm will. sure I will.